Good night, good night. Have one done tonight. God is good and God is good all the time. My name is Irma Jess Bridget Divine. I'm here to give y'all a word on today. And the word is going to be, um, the title is going to be, um, I um, don't know why I'm straining my eye like this here. <laughs> Down but not out. With a touch from Jesus. Now, this is since the um, mother-in-law. You know, since it's one of um, Jesus' um, disciples. You know, so uh, his mother-in-law is uh, now this story about sense of mother-in-law. She didn't think highly of Jesus, but she was sick, and so we will see if Jesus will heal her. Also, Simon is one of Jesus' disciples. Okay, so this that they, they stated her name in the Bible. Now, this Bible here is just the story of his mother-in-law. You know, this this is a good Bible. This woman is sick with a fever lying on her mat. Now everyone was always talking about this Jesus, but she didn't think so highly of this Jesus. You know, everybody was talking about, you know, the disciples, they always come home, you know, they're always talking about on um, Jesus, how wonderful he is, how amazing all the miracles he's done. And she got tired of everybody always talking about Jesus. You know, so she knew that Sensum was following Jesus. You know, so Sensum had to leave his family behind to follow Jesus. So I know she was a little, she was a little upset because Jesus, oh, uh, Sam said, you know, cause, you know, they had to leave his family and all behind to follow Jesus, you know, and so the wife and all, you know, they all had to stay behind, you know. So the woman said, send some, um, um, her son, son-in-law. She, now she said her son-in-law is a good man, but he impossible. You know, because he there, next thing you know, he has to leave. You know, so she hearing voices. So now she's sick, but about to have expected guests. You know, so Jesus come to the house. You know, you know she laying on the mat. She's sick, can't hardly move. You know, but she hearing voices. You know, so um, which is Jesus? You know, so now she hear that Sam sent him, telling Jesus that uh, his mother-in-law is sick, so he could... And he couldn't, see, see, Jesus had to, I mean, Simpson had to let Jesus know that uh, his mother-in-law sick, he, so he couldn't introduce her to him, you know, so that's how the conversation came with that, you know, so after Simpson told Jesus that his mother-in-law was ill, then Jesus walked over to her man. Now remember, she stated that she's not highly of Jesus, but Jesus walking over to her man, you know, so you know what Jesus is about to do, he's about to do a miracle. You know, now she don't think highly of Jesus, but Jesus is about to do miracle on her. She laying on that on that mat, but sooner or later she gonna hop up out of that mat. You know, so she said Jesus touched her, but it was more than a touch. You know, that was that was some kind of touch. She said Jesus touched her, but she said it was more than a touch. You know, so she felt love, she felt sweetness throughout her entire body. You know, so this the same woman wasn't. Um, too fine of Jesus but his touch she felt love <laughs> excuse me but she found love and she thought she was dreaming <laughs> now that was that was a wonderful touch you know now she had Jesus touch her and it went all through her body you know she ain't felt she felt more than just a touch she felt love and she thought she was dreaming you know but she knew she was woke you know but it was like being a young girl again, you know? So, um, <laughs> excuse me. You know, so that touch made her feel so good. You know, she felt like she was a young girl all over again. You know, where she thought she was dreaming. You know, so that was, that was a wonderful touch. You know, so after Jesus touched her, the fever left immediately. I mean, the fever just left so fast. And her energy returned, you know. So that was that was a touch. That touch wasn't on it, you know. He, he her, you know. She that was a wonderful touch that she felt love and sweetness all through her body, you know. And and her energy returned. Now this woman said, "I was down, but not out." You know, she was down. You know, she was laying on that mat. You know, but when Jesus came, see, when Jesus come, you will not be out. You know, you was down. Laying on that mat, but when Jesus came, you was not out, you know. So now she look at Jesus a whole nother way. I guess she do. She look at him a whole nother way. She, 
She got tired of everybody keep on talking about Jesus. You know, she said, I'm not highly of this Jesus they keep on talking about. You know, but now she look at Jesus a whole nother way. You know, she said clearly there was something extraordinary about this Jesus. Huh. She knew God was with Jesus. You know, so that, that touch was a powerful touch. And she know, you know, she know that God was with Jesus when he give when he, he ran power up through that woman and healed her. You know, so now she said Simon involvement with him wasn't such a bad idea I thought. You know, because I guess she was upset because Simon always was leaving and when he came back to visit he, that's all they were talking about, Jesus. You know, talking about their journey. You know, Jesus healed this person. You know, they're always talking about the wonderful deed that Jesus always do. She got tired of hearing. You know, so now she see the involvement that Simon was in with Jesus and she said it was such it wasn't such a bad idea after all. You, you know, and sometimes sometimes you really have to get to know someone before you can make judgment. You know, because she made judgment about this um about Jesus. I'm not so highly of him and never had met him, but she always was hearing about him, you know, and sometimes people hear things, but sometimes you have to really get to know someone to really make judgment because sometimes you might hear bad things, but when you meet that person, they're a whole different thing when you see them, you know, so now she think a whole nother way of Jesus, you know, so remember earlier, she said all they do is talk about this Jesus. But she didn't think highly of him until now. That all he had to do was touch her and she became here immediately. You know, that's all Jesus got to do is touch. You know, you remember, he, all he had to do was touch that woman. She started strengthening up. All he had to do was touch the woman. The blood stopped, stopped running. You know, all he got to do is just touch and you become here. You know, so... Uh, now she, now she see why Simon and them always was talking about this Jesus because he's wonderful, he's amazing, you know. So now she well, she well, she got off that mat, you know. Remember she got her strength back, and she wondered how would she repay Jesus, you know. So Jesus hear her. Now she trying to, she trying to figure out how she gonna pay him, you know. Now you know Jesus don't take no money, you know. Jesus is a healer, you know. So then she said, how could she honor? this man of God, you know, so she knows Jesus not going to take no money, then she thought about how could she honor this man of God, now she know he is a man of God, he is holy and you have to respect him, you know, so she expressed her gratitude and love, because she know what she said earlier, before, before you know, Jesus ain't heard nothing she said, you know, before she got to the house, you know, but now she honored this man of God. You know, she expressed her gratitude and love. And now she know not going, not, um, you know that Jesus is not going to take money. Jesus is a healer. Remember, Jesus, Jesus is a guest. So she said the best thing she can do is help her daughter to cook for the guests. Remember, Jesus not going to do. He was an unexpected um, guest. You know, they didn't know he was coming. You know, so he is a gift. So she knows Jesus is not going to take money. And she's trying to see how she's going to honor this man of God. So the best thing she came up with, she said, well, let me go help my daughter cook. You know, because the daughter was cooking for the guests while she was laying on the mat sick. You know, now she out the mat. And, you know, now she going to help her daughter cook for the guests. You know, and she said that's the best thing she can do because he is a man. He's a man of honor. He, he's the honor, a man of God. You know, he's not going to take no money from you. You know, the best thing you can do is cook for him. You, you know, he loves to eat. He loves to drink water. You know, so that's the best thing she could do. Now, after the meal, all the neighbors, the town, the people came to see the master who healed her. You know, so they all heard that she was here. Because, see, they all know she was sick laying on the mat, you know. So they wanted to they wanted to be here. So Jesus healed all their diseases, you know. So all of them were sick. That's why they came to the house. They said, oh, she, she healed? Who, we, we need to come see this master because we all sick too, you know. So when they got to the house, Jesus healed all of them. He healed all of them, you know. So, um, so all, he healed all their diseases. 
So she saw God was among them, working in power. You know, she saw right off hand, you know, that Jesus was working. He was working in power. So she knew that God was working inside of Jesus. You know, she saw the power that Jesus was doing. When he was healing all the rest of her, her neighbors and, and, and everybody else in the town, she was watching. She saw the power that was working through Jesus. You know, so she said, some call him Messiah. All she knew that what that was of God was with Jesus. She saw that power. She saw that power Jesus was working. You know, Jesus healed all of them. All of them came with diseases and stuff. You know, when they heard that he healed her, they were like, well, we got diseases. We got all kind of stuff going on. Come heal me. You know, Jesus healed all of them. And she saw the power that was running through Jesus healing all those people. You know, something extraordinary. You know, so she knew was that God was with Jesus. And she would never forget this day. She would never forget that day. That was a that was an extraordinary day for her. You know, for her to think think on less of this man, you know, and then to see him in action. See him working in action to make her change her mind. You know, and that's how a lot of people is today. You know, they think less of people. They always want to downside somebody, you know, and when they never met somebody. And then you take and meet somebody, then you have a whole different aspect on somebody. You know, you only have to meet someone to see the other side of that person, person that's. You can never go by what someone saying. Now, she always, you know, she was frustrated all the way hearing everybody talking about how good this man is. But she looked down. You know, she said, I don't think highly of this man here. So, that mean, you didn't think highly of this man. You thought less of this man. You know, so now her whole attitude changed towards Jesus. Now, Jesus is amazing. I can imagine a touch from Jesus. You will not be the same again. Because, you know, because everybody said, um, he touched us. We ain't going to be the same again. And I can imagine you will not be the same again. You know, after Jesus and the touch, you know, you will always remember that touch. You know, so uh, so this woman was down, but she was not out with a touch from Jesus. You know, so Jesus came to, uh, came to her home personally, you know, to touch her hand. And she was here and, um, and, made, and made her whole, you know. Why not invite him in? You, you know, Matthew 8, um, chapter 8, 14, through 15, 14 and 15. When Jesus came into Peter's house, he saw Peter's mother-in-law lying in the bed. Now, you know, uh, Simon, you know, have two, two names, Simon Peter. You know, uh, sometimes they call him Simon, sometimes they call him Peter, sometimes they call him Simon Peter. You know, so uh, his mother-in-law was laying in the mat. With a fever, and he touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she got up and began to wait on him. And that's what you do. That, that was a man of honor. You know, this man of honor hear you. That that's the best thing you could do is get off that mat and go wait on this man. You know, and that's just what she did. You know, when she got up, she trying to figure out how she gonna pay this man. So the best thing she thought of, go in the kitchen, help your daughter cook for this man of honor. You know, there was, there was a man of God that just healed you. You know, so help your daughter in the kitchen and cook some of fabulous food for this man of God. You know, so now that's a miracle to be uh, to be sick. But with a touch, you get up and cook for Jesus. That's amazing. You know, you laying in that mat sick. You know how long, we don't know how long she was laying in that mat sick like that while the daughter you always cleaning up and, and cooking while you just lying there, you know, sick. You know, it took this man of God to come and just touch you. And you got up. You did the best thing that you could do but go in the kitchen and wait on this man of God. You know, that's amazing. That's amazing. Anybody I want to go and save on this man. You know, so this woman was down, lying on her mat. You know, but Jesus, when she was, when she was not out, you know, she was lying on that mat. She thought she was down and out. But with a touch from Jesus, she was not out, but restored. You know, she was down, lying on the mat. You know, she thought she was out. You know, she thought she wasn't going to never get here. 
you know, but with a touch from Jesus, she was not out, but she was restored, you know. So we see that this woman was down, but not out. You know, she didn't think highly of Jesus. You know, all she know, everybody always was talking that he is this mighty Jesus. You know, so now she see for herself what all the talk was about. Now she see what all the talk is about. Now, now she got something to talk about. You know, when everybody talking how mighty she is, now she got a conversation to jump in. Because see, that day there, she ain't going to never forget. She will never forget that day. You know, that's a day to remember, you know, a touch from Jesus. And you was here. Now you see what all the talk was about. You know, so now this woman was honoring the man of God. Now she thinks highly of him. You know, she thinks so highly of him now. She said he is, he, she honored the man of God. And she went in that kitchen and served him. You know, so uh, this pack was about, you know, you're down and out. But at the same time, the only person that can hear you is the same person that you don't think highly of. You know, and a lot of people is like that. The person that they will have to turn to. That's the same person that look, people look down on. You know, so people need to stop judging and stop thinking less of someone until you really get to know someone. She got to know this Jesus. She got to know this mighty Jesus that everyone keep on talking about. You, you know, so now she see what all this talk was about. You know, because she, she thought less of him. She said, I, I don't think highly of him. You know, I don't know what all this talk about. You know, everybody just keep on talking about this Jesus. Now you see what all the talk was about. You know, this high, mighty man of God had touched you and healed you. You know, got you up out of that mat. You know, you was lying down, thought you was out. But Jesus rise you up. He rise you out of that mat and brought you back to life. He restored you back to life. You know, so now you think highly of this man. Now you know, you saw the power that was working through him when he, when he healed all the rest of your neighbors. All the town, all the people that came that were sick. You saw the power that was working through this man here. You know, so now, don't never think less of somebody until you get to know someone. You know, she had to get to know this man of God. You know, and now she think highly of this man. Now she have something to talk about. You know, so I hope y'all enjoy this um, package. And remember, don't never um, talk, look, look down on someone until you get to know someone. You know, you get to know someone, and then they act just like somebody said, then that's a different story. But always get to know someone without talking less down on someone else. You know, so this, this woman talked less down on Jesus till she got to know this man. You know, she got frustrated. That's so all they were talking about with Jesus. So now she see what the talk was all about. You know, so now when they all be talking about highly of Jesus, now she got a conversation to jump in it. And, you know, and talk about all the good things that this man of honor had done to her, done for her. You know, so I hope y'all have a blessed day, and i see y'all on the next video.